Hi, my name is Jiuk Tsurada. I'm from Japan, and at the moment I live and work as a professional manga artist in Brighton. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Chibi Girl. So today we are going to aim to draw Chibi Girl like this. And the word Chibi is Japanese, but and then originally it means uh, short or tiny. But I think outside of Japan, somehow people start using that word for the manga character, especially in this style, kind of cute, squashed, tiny kind of style, right? This. So, so the purpose of chibi is being cute. That is more very important thing. Even if you are drawing like cool looking character or uh, villains in chibi style, they have to be cute as well. Anyway, so this kind of uh, cute girl one is very, very basic one. So let me tell you how to draw. First, if you have a like uh, pen pencil and paper, uh, just use very, very weak pressure on your pencil. If you were using digital, well, use a kind of layer for the rough drawing. So first, we get like balance right. Usually manga character, ordinary man manga character is seven to eight head tall, but chibi character is like two head tall. So the size, is something like okay some some chibi is slightly taller so maybe three heads tall or two two and a half heads tall but uh let's make it based on two head tall for, uh, proportion like this so this is gonna be the head this is going to be the body so let's start planning for the face I said just uh, divide it into this way, into four. It's quite usual stuff. And then I kind of add little oval thing here to make bottom of the face a slightly got certain shape. And then for the body, I always add a little, little neck. And then chibi doesn't mean chubby. So the body would be like this, maybe the middle of this bottom. And then legs, maybe something like that. You don't have to worry about the detail of the foot. And uh, um, like this. And again, you don't have to worry about hands. I always draw hands like this, like a mitten or the chibi, unless they are holding something. Okay, so this is a very, very rough crown. So now go for the detail. So roughly decide the shape. Of the face. I'm doing this and doing another one. This uh, on the different layer, but if you were doing honorable, you just add some detail and erase really softly. Don't damage your paper. Erase softly on uh, unnecessary lines. Okay, so shape the face.
and from where about the eyes. And nose. Usually, Chibi doesn't have a nose, so don't worry about it. Eyebrows and hairstyle. So fast, fringe, ears. You know, just the ears doesn't need to be very, very detailed as, as well. And then I have a little bit, give her a little bit of hair here. Here, so he has a half, a half cover of that. And this is a fringe, so rest of the hair is behind here. Here. And I give her a picture, so let's say tight here and here, so go like that. You can exaggerate the hair and everything, but make the line simple for actual ordinary manga style. You are maybe adding more like rows and everything about for manga style. Keep it simple and but in line and shape is very important. And a ribbon. And now is for the what she's wearing. So little neck. Big oh. and she's wearing like apron, so get the shape right. And this is her waist, so key. Long start and long. Underskirt and nice fluffy uh, sleeve with little frill, little frill, and hands. And Maybe a ribbon behind you know, this ribbon. And she's wearing black boots, so you don't have to worry about that detail too much. So just get pointy, hold a little bit of heel, and maybe shoe race here to indicate what she's wearing. So this is the kind of planning stage done. For Chibi, planning is everything. You need to quite precise uh, how she or the character look like. It's not like, well, it's more like, um, designing mascot character. So all the lines should be really kind of crisp and everything. So let's ink this. For this kind of chibi character, I recommend using even thickness, slightly chunkier line, especially outside. So, Let's do that. Let's ink her. So I start with a 
face. I always start with face because face rhyme is oops, sorry, something very important because it's a frame. And then I add a little bit of detail. Right. See the shape is important. A little bit this top. It, it's a little bit of the uh, eyelashes. Well, and now for the hair. You don't need to add too much detail, really. But keep it the line as steady as possible. And now for the list. Um, ribbon. You can play with like little cars like this. You can make a little bit of exaggeration for chibi, but always remember they have to be cute in some way. So, a little neck, nice color, and what she's wearing. Oh, I forgot to add that. And start nice and long. Nice and round. And her little boots. You see, you just get the shape right. And the shoelace. And little okay. So now you have to think about I inside of I. I say keep it simple. Add nice highlight. This and the center of the eyes. And I just paint the paint over here. What? 
Okay. Good. And for the detail, I will add more color. She is well, she is black here though. This that And also she's wearing dark colored shirts like this here. Cute. And um, if you are doing digitally and if you want to add some highlight on her here, don't go for like, you know, manga highlight like the really shaggy like this. I say, I would uh, I would add highlight like more stylized round cute one like this. this. That you can play around, and if you want, like you can add like heart shape inside of the heart eyes or stars. If it's cute, it's it's okay. And maybe a little bit of. Details and stripe ribbons. Oh, when you are adding highlights, if you are doing analog, you just um, use very thick white ink afterwards, or you just plan ahead before you paint all the area. And maybe a little bit of detail, but don't overdo it. You don't need to. And a little bit of cheek. Okay, that's it. Keep everything simple. Make, um, make it cute and then then you you are okay with all the chibi drawing i hope you can enjoy your your own chibi at home and then hope you are enjoying thank you very much bye